Hi everybody, I'm Cameron from Sweet Maria's and today we are going to be showing you how to steam and get cafe results uh, from your Sylvia. Um, so, right now, first things first, uh, you always want to have a towel on hand, preferably a little bit wet in the center, um, but not douse, you don't want to burn yourself. Um, also, you always want to purge your steam wand before you actually put it in the pitcher um, because usually water will build up in the wand and you want more of the steam effect as opposed to the water. So as you can see, you'll get a stream of water if you want it to be more like steam like that. So you just purge it for a second and then it'll be ready to go. Another thing is you always want to hold your pitcher by the handle because you don't want to accidentally hold on to this and burn yourself by steaming a little bit too long. That happens a lot. Um, so just be safe. Um, you're gonna use one hand to hold your handle and the other hand to, te to periodically check the, check the temperature as well as control your pressure. So we're gonna get started. I'm going to put the pitcher right at the point where you just want the tip of the wand to be touching the milk, basically. You don't want it to be all the way out but you want it to be touching the milk because what's going to happen is the steam is going to press the milk back and you're going to get like a little loud hiss kind of. That's what you want. You want to hiss. You don't want big bubbles. We want to use microphone. So I'm going to steam it one more time. Or I'm going to purge it one more time. Excuse me. And then let's, let's get started. So most importantly is uh, the sound. What you're really going to be looking for is the sound. So, let's start. So you got that little high pitch sound at first. You, you just want to introduce a little bit more air to get rid of that sound. You want more like a hiss. Can you hear that? And then you're just going to raise up the pressure a little bit. You're also going to want the steam wand to be at a bit of an angle to get the whirlpool effect. And it'll give it that glassy kind of look. And then let's introduce a little bit more air. The more air, the more fluffy your milk will be. So this will probably be more like for a cappuccino. But you hear that little hiss? That's all you want. No big loud sounds or high screeching noises. And we got a little bit of a whirlpool effect. I'm gonna check the temperature with my other hand. And that's pretty good. So we're gonna turn this off. So if I were holding this by the base, it would have probably burnt me. Um, it's probably at around 150 degrees. If you're gonna do a cappuccino, you want more like 140 um, uh, for a latte, like 145. Um, but it could easily burn you if you hold it by the base. So always hold it by the handle until you're comfortable. So what you're gonna get, sometimes you get bubbles but as you can see, you, you can always get rid of your bubbles by just banging on your counter. And you'll see baristas do it all the time. They'll just bang on the counter and you're wondering why they're banging your pitcher on the counter. It's just to get rid of the bubbles that they created. It's, it's inevitable sometimes, so. But as you can see, you get that like, kind of like glossy kind of milk, that glossy effect. And that's perfect milk for the cappuccino. And if you want it just a little wetter, you just use less air. So less hisses and just submerge your milk once you think that the texture is fine. So I made more of a cappuccino milk. It's a little bit more fluffy. So we're gonna go ahead and pour that. And there you have it. Perfect milk. Thank you guys.